In this video, I will show you the operation of RTL NAND gate. See here, I have two input NAND gate here, as this is a NAND gate. If at least one of the inputs is at logic 0, our output will be at logic 1. Say for the first three cases, 0, 0, output will be 1, 0, 1, output will be 1, and for 1, 0, our output will be 1. But if the V1 and V2 both of them are at logic 1 our output will be at logic 0 okay see 1 1 logic 0 output see this is the circuit structure of RTL NAND gate and this is the truth table of this NAND gate here you will see in the circuit we will have total two transistors Q1 and Q2 and at the base terminal of the transistor Q1 and the base terminal of the transistor Q2 we have connected a base resistor RB see for the logical operation of this circuit it will use only resistors and transistors that is why this is known as resistor transistor logic okay now let me briefly describe the operation of this RTL NAND gate after that I will show you the detail operation of this circuit using a simulator here I will apply logic 0 that means our input terminal will be connected to ground and here I will apply logical 1 by applying a 5 volt DC voltage between that input terminal to the ground terminal now see when this V1 will be 0 volt that means this terminal is connected to ground and this V2 will also be 0 volt or V1 is at 0 volt and V2 is at 5 volt or V1 is at 5 volt and V2 is at 0 volt see there are three possible bit combinations this is 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 here you will see the transistors Q1 and Q2 will be in off state as a result there will be no current flow through this load resistor RL therefore you will see there will be no voltage drop from this terminal to this terminal in that case our output will be equal to plus VCC or equal to logic 1 and here if I apply 5 volt or logical 1 at this terminal and 5 volt at this terminal that means I am talking about the input logics 1 1 there you will see the transistor Q1 and Q2 both will be in on state as a result our output voltage will be equal to plus VCE1 set plus VC E2 set which will be a very small number nearly equal to 0 volt so for the input of 1 1 our output will be equal to 0 volt or at logic 0 now I will show you this operation by using a simulator see I have set the circuit in the simulator here you will see this is the exact same circuit I have shown you in the analysis see this 5 volt will be our VCC this 670 ohm will be our load resistor RL the transistor will be our transistor Q1 this transistor will be our transistor Q2 and you see the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal will be our output voltage that means our output voltage will be indicated by this voltmeter this will be our base resistor RB and this will be our base resistor RB 1 kilo ohm and see this will be our input terminal V1 sorry this will be our input terminal V2 and this will be our input terminal V1 now to apply logic 0 I will apply 0 volt that means our input terminal will be connected to ground and here I will apply logic 1 by applying plus 5 volt that means this terminal will be connected to this 5 volt source ok now let me describe the logical operation of circuit at first I will talk about V1 is at logic 0 that means 0 volt and V2 is equal to 
zero volt okay so that means this terminal will be connected to this ground terminal and this terminal will be connected to ground terminal see this terminal and this terminal is connected to ground terminal in that case you will see the voltage that is applied at the base terminal of the transistor q1 will be zero volt and the base voltage of the transistor q2 will also be equal to zero volt but to turn on a transistor we need a voltage greater than 0 0.7 volt as the base of the transistor q1 and the base of the transistor q2 are at 0 volt that means the base emitter junction of the transistor q1 and the base emitter junction of transistor q2 will not be in forward bias as a result our transistor q1 and q2 both of them will be in off state when the transistor q1 and q2 will be in off state their collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal of both transistors from the given network therefore you will see the current that is flowing through this path is equal to zero see that there is no current flow from this terminal to this ground terminal see this is zero ampere as there is no current flow in this direction you will see the current through this rl the if i denote that with il will be equal to zero that means there will be no voltage drop from this terminal to this terminal as the voltage difference between these two terminals will be equal to zero volt you will see our output will be five volt that means our output voltage will be appeared in the voltmeter okay so our output is at logic one for input of zero zero now let me describe the second case v1 is at logic zero and v2 is at logic one that means i will apply zero volt at this terminal and five volt at this terminal okay see this is connected to ground so it is already in zero and i will connect this terminal with this five volt okay now see when i will apply logic zero here and logic one here the transistor q1 will have a base voltage of zero volt but to turn on a transistor i need a voltage at least 0 0.7 volt so our transistor q1 will be in off state when the transistor q1 will be in off state its collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch or open circuit so i can disconnect its collector and emitter terminal from the network see as i have disconnected the collector and emitter terminals so you will see there will be no current flow from this terminal to this terminal from this terminal to this collector terminal as a result there will be no current flow through the load resistor rl so our il will be equal to zero we will get the base to emitter current flow because here i am applying five volt at this terminal to this terminal so its base to emitter junction will be in forward bias therefore i will get the current flow in base to emitter junction but there will be no collector current of the transistor q2 so here as il will be zero therefore our i l r l drop will also be equal to zero that means there will be no voltage drop between this terminal to this terminal okay now see as there is no voltage drop from this point to this point our output voltage v o will be equal to this v c c or our output voltage is equal to 5 volt so our output is at logic 1 for input of 0 1 now let me show you this case when our v1 will be at logic 1 that means i will apply 5 volt and our v2 is at logic 0 that means i will apply 0 volt see our v1 will be at logic 1 that means i will connect this terminal with this terminal and v2 is at logic 0 that means i will connect this terminal with this ground terminal here you will see if i want to turn on the transistor q2 i have to apply a voltage greater than 0 0.7 volt but here the base to emitter junction voltage is only 0 volt that means our transistor q2 will be in off 
state okay so as the transistor q2 will be in off state its collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminals okay now see i am applying 5 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal although it seems that the base to emitter junction of transistor q1 is in forward bias but you will see there will be no complete path for current flow from the base terminal of the transistor q1 to the emitter terminal of the transistor q1 because we will get an open circuit from this terminal to this terminal because the transistor q2 is in off state as a result there will be no current flow from this terminal to this terminal as there is no collector current or base to emitter junction current so i can say that our transistor q1 is also in off state so i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal of the transistor q1 from the given network okay now see our collector current is zero that means the current through this path i l will also be equal to zero as a result there will be no voltage drop from this terminal to this terminal therefore our output voltage vo as indicated by this voltmeter will be equal to 5 volt c this vcc will be appeared across this terminal to this ground terminal so our output is at logic 1 now let me show you the last case when v1 will be at logic 1 that means i will apply 5 volt here and our v2 will be at logic 1 that means here i will also apply 5 volt see i will connect this terminal with this terminal and this terminal with this terminal here you will see the base 2 emitter terminal voltage is greater than 0.7 volt therefore our transistor q2 will be in on state when transistor q2 will be in on state you will see its collector and emitter terminals will act like close switch so i can short the collector and emitter terminals see i am applying 5 volt at this terminal okay therefore you will see our transistor q1 will also be in on state because when i will apply 5 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal as this collector and emitter terminals get shorted therefore this negative terminal will be connected with this emitter terminal and this positive terminal of this 5 volt will be connected at this terminal so you will see easily our base to emitter junction of transistor q1 will be in forward bias because its base to emitter terminal will get a path for current flow therefore our transistor q1 will be in on state so when the transistor q1 will be in on state you will see its collector and emitter terminal will also get shorted as a result the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal will be equal to let's say vce1 saturation voltage and the voltage difference between this terminal to this ground terminal will also be vce saturation voltage therefore you will see our vo between this terminal to this terminal vo will be the sum of two saturation voltage vce sat 1 plus vce 2 sat which will be here 122 millivolt or 0 0.12 volt this indicates logic zero okay that's it thank you